the earth are not so great for the garden or the mm -hmm. house. So, Frankie, you've got a list of little things you can do to take care of everything from an ant to anything else that might be bothering you. You got it. You got it. Ants, so, slugs, snails, all of that you stuff. You got all those things that you don't like. So there are yeah. beneficial bugs. Ladybugs are, for instance, something we like. Pray yeah, mantis are good pretty. like that. But let's just say that if you have an ant problem, you know, you can go out there and you can get an ant bait. An ant bait, the way that works is the ants come in, they grab a little bit of that bait, they bring it back to the colony, they feed the queen. Once the queen is gone, mm. that ant colony is gone. Another solution that you can do though, that you can just maybe have these sitting around your home, borax yeah. uh, and also sugar, 50% of each mixed together. Yeah. The sugar is the attractant, that's yes. where we'll come and grab the sugar. But at the same time, they take the borax, they take that back into the colony, they feed it and boom, there goes the queen, you take care of the colony. Okay, so, so this is all, you know, like little Trojan horses that they bring back to their amazing. colonies. They're Ants are actually pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, in the right place, they're pretty cool. In the cool. right places. But yeah, they bring it back, their worker ants go out, bring it back to the colony, feed, and then with that bait, what happens yeah. is you'll take care of them. Next okay. up when it comes to aphids. So aphids out there, you can get something that's called bug be gone, which is an insecticide, but this is a, a an eco sense insecticide, so it's not harmful whatsoever. Okay. But let's just say that you don't have time to go to the garden center. You can either wash the plants off with a hose, just wash them off, or what you can do is just take some liquid dish soap with water, mm -hmm. and you're going to put it in and use it just as a spray that you're going to first test that spray. When you're spraying anything on a plant, make sure you're doing it early in the morning or later in the evening, never during the afternoon. Why is that? Because the sun sometimes will reflect and actually burn the plant and cause more uh, harm. So you want to okay. be careful. Slugs. So All right. Slugs. There's a slug bait that you can get, so mm -hmm. that's something that you can buy, but there's other solutions around the home that you can use. So this here is what I ate last night. So is that eggshells? No. Do you is like mussels? Yeah. Yeah, that's mussel shells. Oh. So these are the shells from mussels that you okay. can just crush up, and what you're going to do is you're going to put those around the base of the plant. Yeah. What happens is when slugs or any crawling insect walks across them, it cuts them up, boom, they're gone. Oh. <laughs> Just like that. This is like a gazillion ways to die in this segment. I love it. Like, <laughs> hey? so, so that's what happens. Uh, okay, it's, see, it's very, uh, it's not very technical, but it does the, the it trick. It does the trick. You want to have a beer? Yeah, I love any excuse to use beer, of course, in the garden. Mm -hmm. And with this, we're going to sink this down to ground level. And you've heard of this before, where you put beer in there. Mm -hmm. And it's the humane way to let a slug die. Slug walks in, it gets drunk, dies, just like that. Oh, okay. It's called the slug pub. There was a U.S. study, it's actually. A slug pub. A U.S. study that tested many different beers to see which beer was the best. Yeah. And it was a pale ale. A Budweiser was oh. the best beer well, there that you, you could use. So if they like different types of beer. The beer needs to be fresh. Isn't that hilarious? Oh, does it? Yeah. Or they're not going to go for if it, it? If it goes stale, they won't go for it. The they other thing, when you, when you see slugs, if you see a slug, you just put a little bit of salt on them. Mm -hmm. That, sl that salt will take the water, the moisture right out of the slug mm. and dehydrate the slug. So if you're walking through your garden and you see them sitting around, you can just, they come out at night. They're Give hermaphrodites. a little bit of salt. And remember, they're hermaphrodites too, right? Yeah. So they have a male and female Come on part. in, guys, so we can say bye together after that really happy segment. Yeah. <laughs> so nice.